Sulka, Ivy Masters Learning Center, ivymasters.com. And today we're going to look at our first open-ended math question on the no-calc math section. One note, if timing is an issue for you on the math section, you might start with the open-ended questions. Why would you do that? Let's say you have four answer choices left. If you start with the open-ended and then circle back to the multiple choice, your last four are going to be multiple choice. If you're running out of time and guess on those four, chances are you're going to get one of them right. It's 10 points. If you do a test in order, start with multiple choice and then do open-ended, your last four are going to be open-ended. Guessing correctly on open-ended, you have much less of a chance if you run out of time. Because there's four spots to bubble in, that would be a 1 in 10,000 chance of getting it correct, not even taking into consideration fractions or decimals. On that note, we're doing sec section 3, number 16 of test 1, which reads, if t is greater than 0, and t squared minus 4 equals 0, what's the value of t? For a student who is really deficient in algebra, and it's likely you could do this algebraically, but if you're really not good at algebra, you could think of numbers. If you had 1 squared minus 4, you'd get negative 3. That's too small, so you got to go bigger. If you had 3 squared, 9 minus 4, you'd have 5. That's too big. You'd have to go smaller. If you had 2 squared, you'd get 4 minus 4, which would be 0. That's going to be your answer. But let's do it like an algebra problem. First thing you'd do is add 4 to both sides. And over here, you'd cancel, and you'd get t squared equals 4. Now, taking the square root of both sides, really here you'd get t equals plus or minus 2 because if t is 2, 2 squared is 4. t is negative 2, negative 2 times itself is going to give you a positive. But keep in mind that it says that t has to be greater than 0, so t equals 2. Bubble in a 2. Also in the open-ended, you'll find that there's no place to bubble in a negative. So if you ever get a negative in the open-ended and you have no time left, then bubble in a positive equivalent, but if you do have time left, then go back and see what your mistake is. Hope you enjoyed the lesson today. <clears throat> if you did, click like. Leave me in the comments a question that you'd like to see answered. It could be from any official SAT, PSAT, or ACT. Share this with someone who would benefit from my little lesson on timing issue. And, um, Subscribe so you don't miss anything. Have a great day.